Welcome back. I'm back in New York. I'm a little bit dressed off, not majorly. It's Sunday and I'm actually headed down to the Spotify office here in New York, which is kind of random. <laughs> but one of my really good friends, Kira, over here, she works there and they're having kind of a big breakfast event for Pride Weekend and they have a really cool rooftop and stuff. And I've literally been meaning to go visit her at her office for so long. <laughs> so today is like the perfect chance now that I'm here in New York and she's going to this event and some of the other girls are going to. So it should be fun. So I figured I'd kind of dress up. I should probably be wearing something colorful, but this is literally all I could put together in the short time that I had. And I wanted to wear a colorful top with these pants, but couldn't find one that suited. So I'll have to get some sort of sticker or something instead. Just have my Miss Soma London necklace. I'm loving this. I'm literally wearing it the whole time and I just did some quick natural-ish makeup. So I'm gonna head down there and then I'm gonna meet Tommy maybe afterwards for a while and yeah, that's kind of the plan. I figured I'd vlog today and probably tomorrow as well, so you'll see what I got up to. I want to just get straight back into vlogging since I got back from the trip. We were actually here yesterday, but I spent the whole day editing the Tulum vlog, so there was nothing exciting going on and I didn't even go out or anything last night. So today I'm ready to get back to the vlog, so I'll actually just turn around quickly and show you this outfit. It's actually a full Zara outfit, Zara trousers. These are my white shoes, I wear so much, and this is a top that I've had since last summer. Just like really simple and easy. It isn't as warm in New York the last few days. Like yesterday it was cold, I was like wearing a jacket, and today it looks a little bit gloomy too, so I figured I'd wear just light pants, and plus my tan needs to be redone. <laughs> so this is the best outfit that I could put together for that reason as well. So yeah, that's the quick update. So I'll bring you with us here now, and we'll see what we'll get up to for the rest of the day then. Gemma with Tommy who is a bit hungover. I'm gonna get some food here. Where are you going? I literally turned on the camera and he got up and walked away. <laughs> okay, just finished food, we came to Union Square. It's so busy. Uh, it's also so hot. I'm literally sweating. It's like Mexico all over again. But yesterday was like cold here. Oh yeah, by the way, I changed. <laughs> It is Wednesday morning. I'm back on the vlog. I'm a little bit dressed up this morning. We're headed to some meetings. Kellen's also in a summery dress. Um, we're headed down towards Flatiron area, one of my favorite areas, to meet with a brand that I've actually already worked with. And our collaboration went really, really well. So we're gonna chat about what else we can do together. So that's where we're gonna go first. And I'm gonna bring my laptop and headphones and camera and everything with me because we might work from a cafe for a little bit i have a video going live today um all about tanning tips so i'm going to finish the edit down there and then probably come back home to push it live so that's the plan let me just turn around quickly and show you this dress i've had it for ages but i'm bringing it back out today it's from lk bennett like it's literally the most beautiful material gold and black um kind of has like fancier vibes about it but I think I, I was able to dress it down I just have like summery shoes with it and a vintage belt and I'm gonna just bring like my big Saint Laurent bag because I have all my laptop and equipment and everything but it's such a nice one and it's actually like really light material so even though it's long sleeves it doesn't feel like too warm or anything so yeah that is me today we're all set also Ken's boyfriend David was Ken this is completely smashed I didn't do it Ken's boyfriend David was home in Ireland and my mom sent back one bar of dairy milk Oreo because um, he only had a hand luggage and I literally had to beg them to give it to me as well. I did, you did not have to beg me. I don't even eat that. Sorry. Yum, but it's like all smashed up. It feels like it's it half empty. It got smashed in his bag. I thought he ate it, but oh, it feel it. smashed. It smashed and it like moved down. Okay, well, we had this for later anyway. Nothing, God. <laughs> I'm trying to be healthy this week, so I probably shouldn't even be eating this. Um, we're heading away for the weekend, a big group of us. I'll tell you more about that later. So I'm trying to be healthy. I had my spirulina smoothie this morning. Um, I actually put my recipe for that on my Insta stories. So I'll pop it in the description box as well, just in case you ever want to make it. It's literally the only smoothie I've ever like half stuck to. 
So that's what I've been up to, catching up with some emails. It's just about half nine now. Been up for a while. Got up when Tommy went to work at like half six, so I have got to go a bit done. And yeah, we're heading off now, so I'll bring you with us. Okay, just finished our meeting. Went really, really well. We're just in Flatirons. You can see the building behind me. Um, we're gonna actually stay down this direction now. Oh my god! Look at this. Uh, a pasta bar. My kind of bar. Oh my god. But anyway, sorry, we're distracted. My camera is so dark today. It's very gloomy in New York today. I'm actually glad that I wore this long dress because it's not that summery here today. Um, but we're gonna go to a cafe now and just do a few bits and bobs. We're going away this weekend. We're going to the Hamptons for the first time this summer. We booked an Airbnb. Then we went there last year for Kaylin's birthday. There's seven of us so far going. So we're gonna drive out on Friday evening and just really kind of have a chill weekend. The house has a pool and stuff, so it's great. So we're just trying to get everything done once again <laughs> before we go again. But it's actually the best way to be productive, like to have things to look forward to because usually I do a bit of work on the weekend if I'm here in New York but if I'm not here obviously I have to get everything done beforehand so it's good um that's the situation any news killing um no I don't what's so. going on in your life not much no <laughs> oh Ken's it off the fire alarm in her apartment the last night <laughs> yeah well it's, I mean it's a regular occurrence but I mean I was, I was going trying for like to cook minutes. dinner I was trying to be good because David usually does cook, he's better than me. So I was I was home first, so I was like trying to be good and cook dinner for us and I like put loads of effort into it and next thing like you know when you're cooking like and it gets smoky but you don't really realise it because you're in the kitchen and you're cooking yourself so you kinda get used to it. Um but it set off the fire alarm and like that does happen quite often but like this time it would not go off. I had to ring stressed. David to come home. I was like, oh my god, I can't get a fire alarm off. <laughs> And it literally kept going for like 12 minutes and all my neighbours were so annoyed. Oh. So yeah, I've like so sore Kaylin's abs weak. today from trying to Yeah, she keeps saying her abs are sore. I'm like, because I was sitting up on the chair and I was like, this is the towel like for ages. <laughs> so oh. it was not good. And yeah. now I am not allowed to cook anymore. Yeah. I'd love that. Maybe I just have the fire alarm. It's so annoying because I didn't even burn anything. It's just my apartment's so small. Like, yeah, oh. New York apartments, they, they go off so easily. But anyway, that's our week. We're kind of having a chill week, really, to be honest. We went out for a bit on Sunday, obviously for Pride. That was really fun. We went to Spotify. And we've just kind of been working, really, ever since then. But I'm going to go to cafe now, and I'll check in again soon. Hey, back home a few hours later. Well, actually, I would say eight. No, not eight. Six or seven hours later. Um, I'm in workout gear. I just went to a Pilates class. Didn't want to go, not gonna lie, it was one of those evenings I was like, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I just want to like sit on the couch. Um, but then Tommy came home and he was going to the gym. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna get this class out of the way. It's only 45 minutes and I live like really close to the gym. So I really have no excuse. Um, and we're going away this weekend. I feel like trips are like the best motivation <laughs> to go to the gym. I find that if I don't have anything going on, like or anything to kind of like, um, look forward to and stuff. I'm like very laxy daisy about eating well and going to the gym. But then if I have a trip, I'm like, no, I wanna be healthy, I wanna feel good. And yeah, it just makes me go to the gym. But um, yeah, we had a good day. We did lots of work. I put my video live, the tanning one, um, just working on lots of the other usual stuff. We're actually working on a post this weekend, or no, sorry, this week, Kellen's helping me about the best places to stay in New York. We always get like so many questions. Sorry, hope you can see me, maybe I should move. Um, we always get so many questions about where to stay in New York and what's the best area to stay in and which are the best hotels. And like, although we haven't stayed obviously in a lot of hotels because we live here, like we do go into hotels for coffees or just like going into the lobby and I'm familiar with a good few of them after living here for four years. So I figured it would be good to just put a post, like a separate post together. Um, um, just about hotels so stay tuned for that I think that post yeah that post will be live by the time this video goes live so I'll link that below in case you're visiting New York soon and I'll actually link like my other 
like New York guides and stuff because I know lots of you visit New York and it's good to have some recommendations and I've done lots of posts throughout the years so I'll link like my most recent ones below. Just wanted to remind you that in case you're visiting soon because I know the summer is a popular time. And in other news, what else has been going on? I feel like I haven't had a proper kind of chat to the vlog in a while. Um, this week actually I wrote a blog post on Monday just all about like how bloggers work with brands and how I personally work with brands and to be honest like I was just kind of writing it like almost just to get the thoughts out of my own head and like I've been meaning to talk about it for a while but I did not expect the response so many of you have messaged me and emailed me and different bloggers have got in touch just saying how much they agree and stuff so it was actually really interesting and kind of got me back into wanting to write more because I think definitely I think I've definitely mentioned this before but since I started YouTube I kind of have less time to write on my blog but my blog is like where it all started like that's what started first before anything else and that's where you can really kind of like have a chat and just kind of write about things that are almost easier to write than talk about so if you don't know that I have a blog because <laughs> some of you might know you might just follow me here on YouTube but I do have a blog I've had it for like over six years now and I write posts on there and we do different shopping posts on there every week and different New York guides and stuff so I'll link that below just in case you didn't know um I love blogging I hope I know it's like kind of I don't know not kind of gotten less popular over the last while since Instagram and YouTube and everything but to be honest as like as a blogger it's the only thing lighting is not good as a blogger it's the only thing that I actually own like I don't own YouTube like if YouTube dies in the morning I don't have a leg to stand on same as Instagram same as Twitter same as Facebook but when you have a website and a blog that you put your own content on like you own that space that's yours so yeah I'm very protective of it and definitely want to keep it going but that's my random chat for the evening sorry I just feel like I haven't had a chat in a while and sometimes I go on to insta stories to chat but I hate the 15 second thing and I know there is IGTV now which is a whole other conversation for a whole other day um but I figured I would just have a quick chat to the vlog but that's the update I'm gonna shower now Tommy should be home after and maybe I can convince him to make dinner I made dinner on Monday evening. What is today? Wednesday. We didn't. We ate like takeaway stuff last night. Um, so maybe he will. Maybe he'll cook tonight. We'll see. I'll see if I can convince him. So I'm so excited about what came today. You know I love this sun cream. And when I originally got this, I bought it myself in Sephora. But I tagged them a lot on my stories because I genuinely was recommending it to people who follow me on Instagram and I think I mentioned it here in the on YouTube as well but ever since then they're now sending me stuff like they're gifting me these pieces this isn't sponsored they haven't like asked me to show you or anything but they sent me a new one of my favorite one this is the oil free one that I use when I'm wearing tan and then they also sent me a spray mousse version this one isn't oil free but I mean it's still a good one to have definitely when I'm not wearing tan or if I'm not like too bothered about like wrecking up my tan and then this is really interesting it's like a setting mist so a setting mist broad spectrum sun cream SPF 50 amazing so you just you have your makeup on with your SPF and then if you want to like top it up throughout the day but obviously not take off all your makeup again you can just put this on over your makeup genius i absolutely love this brand and there's one more thing i wanted to show you where is it oh yeah here they are i got these new sandals and oh my god these are so comfortable i don't know the exact price um i'm gonna have a look for you now and i'll pop it on the screen but guys if you're looking for like a good quality plain sandal I cannot recommend these enough. They're like wearing slippers because obviously I have like all my different sandals here and I have a lot of them, but I do find that if I wear these around the city for a day, like they're not the most supportive shoes. But these, on the other hand, I've worn them two or three times now at this stage, like out and about, and oh my God, guys, they are just divine. They come in a few different colors. So I wanted to just let you know, definitely, again, not sponsored, like they, they gift them to me. But again, they didn't ask me to show them or anything, but truly, truly a fan. And they come, I think, in black, and I think one more color. So I'll have a look for you, and I'll put a link below. 
I also have no idea what I'm packing for this weekend. I may have to run to the shops tomorrow just to pick up a few little bits and pieces to add into my current stuff. So there might be a little shopping part of this vlog to come. Who knows? We'll see how much time I have tomorrow. I'm meeting my friend Cass in the morning. She's another blogger here in the city that I've known for ages now. And we've been literally meaning to have coffee for so long. So I'm going to meet her tomorrow down in Soho. And I'll be near the shops. So I might have a little um, look in there if I have time. So I'll definitely bring you with me to that as well. I'm here with Cass. <laughs> oh, we got the same thing. I know, it looks so, so good. home this is like kind of what I was wearing today I was actually wearing it with a denim skirt but I went to get a pedicure and wearing these sandals um I went to get a pedicure so I put shorts on because I don't know I just think it's a bit weird if you wear a skirt because it's like goes up I don't know I just put on shorts um I love this blazer I'm still wearing it it's the River Island one and I have my necklaces that I literally haven't been taking off but this is probably going to be like the last part of this vlog but today what I didn't vlog I went to the Zara sale I promised myself I wasn't gonna go there but I passed by after I met with Cass we went for like a nice breakfast um had such a nice talk she's so lovely definitely go over and follow her like she's like New York style like I feel like if you like New York and fashion you'll love her Instagram and her YouTube so definitely go over and follow her we had a really nice catch up and then I went shopping yep I was supposed to go in for a new bikini and I came out with more than that I found some bits but I didn't try them on because it was so busy in there and I didn't have time so I was meeting Tommy and then I took home and to finish up a blog post so I didn't try anything on so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna really quickly try them on now and just like show you quickly here in the vlog and I'll see what I'll keep and what I'm gonna return I probably won't keep everything I think I spent about $200 all together I think there's like six or seven things in there so I'll show you what I got now and then just have to finish packing for tomorrow and then it's Friday again where did this week go? I just put up a post on Instagram being like, okay, I blinked and June is over because that's exactly how I feel. I don't know where the time is going. Anyway, that's life, that's the update. So I'm gonna try this on now and I'll right. show you. Ignore the mess. Item number one, these stripe shorts. I just have been noticing that I'm really lacking in the shorts and skirt department for summer. Like, I just don't seem to have that many. I feel like I kind of declutter them a lot um but i liked these and they were only 19 dollars. i thought they were kind of like simple and chic and i actually also got the black version so i'm gonna try on the black now and see a nice fit i went with the extra small and they seem to fit pretty well and this is just like a black crop top i have with it but you could wear lots of different things with this like t-shirt style or like even a nice blazer and they have pockets so yeah i think i'm pretty happy with them Okay, so this needs a major iron, but it's like this really oversized shirt. I just thought it was really cool for the summer and obviously I'd like tuck it into denim, denim shorts or denim skirt. I can just kind of imagine this in the Hamptons, like sitting out by our house, like drinking a glass of wine. I don't know, it's just like comfy and casual, but still chic. That's what I like to go for. And then it's nice with like necklaces, has this button here um and then it has the buttons on the sleeves too it's nice detail then how much was this I'm trying to see 20 22 dollars and it feels like good quality shirt as well and i like that it's like really oversized you could wear it like a few different ways definitely i'm into that vibe at the moment for the summer the looser and the bigger <laughs> the better because it's so hot um yeah i think i like this okay this is the next top it's kind of a weird fit so I'm not sure about this one. I think there was only a medium left and I said I'd try it, but I don't know. I just love this look and I love a pinstripe like this. Um, and I'm liking this style at the moment. I thought it was like a good classic to have, but I think it could be a wrong fit, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Okay, this is kind of a random purchase for me, but there was just something I really liked about it. Um, it's just again that big like real flowy style i just think with necklaces and like the right accessories it's really really nice um the detail is good and it's just like really comfy i think i'd wear it with these shorts like i'm actually not sure what i'd wear this with but 
Yeah, I think I like this one. Very airy. <laughs> Okay, so this top gave me major Zimmerman vibes. If you're not familiar with Zimmerman, it's literally the most beautiful brand. I want everything, but it's super expensive. But I saw this and something else I'm about to try on, and I just thought of the brand straight away. It's that real kind of like whimsical, florally, but not cringy florally kind of look, if you get me. And I like this is like muted color, so I'm definitely keeping this. I really like it. Um, probably with denim or even like something a bit fancier. Okay, this is the last thing. You kind of have to trust me on this one. It looks a little bit strange because I don't have it styled right, but basically it's pants and a matching top, but it kind of looks like a dress when you're like standing. Most beautiful print, so Zimmerman. I actually saw this on a blogger that I follow, Claire, Ch Claire Chanel, I think's her name. Um, I am Chiquette on YouTube and she had this on an Instagram and I was like, oh my God, Zimmerman, straight away. Like I thought about that's like beautiful. And then she was like, guys, this is from Zara and it just went on sale. And I was like, oh my God, I have to like, Imagine this on a beautiful sunny trip, like it would be so nice. Okay, wait, this is it with a belt, maybe not the right one, and heels. <gasps> I love it so much. I absolutely love it. Just everything looks like a dress, doesn't it? When you stand still, it's like a dress, but then you move and it has an even better shape. Let's see if I can show you here. <gasps> Sorry, that mirror is really dirty. Um, absolutely love this such a bargain if you're near zara go get it it's really really good okay it's the next morning i completely forgot to end the vlog last night it's about 7 a.m so i'm pretty tired but i want to just finish the vlog before i start editing it i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to film the weekend i'm going to see how it goes because we kind of want to chill out a little bit as well and i'm there with friends and tommy and everyone so i definitely want to enjoy it too i don't want to be on my camera the whole time but I might just do like a shorter vlog. I'll see how I feel when I get there. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. I will be back again, if not in the Hamptons vlog, next week. And I have some really good videos coming for you as well next week. Um, don't forget I have a tanning video. I'll link that below in case you missed it. Tanning tips and everything. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.